don't think about what comes after or what came before. Today we're doing a video I've never done before. I'm doing a DIY thrift flip, which I'm honestly so excited about. I've been wanting to do this to my own clothes for quite some time and I've just never done it. But now that I decided I'm making it into a video, it's go time. What I'm going to be doing is actually DIYing the shorts I'm wearing right now. I just wanted to bring them up another notch, but the pressure is on because I actually love these shorts and if I fuck them up, I'm going to be so mad. So <laughs> we're really going to be testing my artistic abilities, which I think I'm capable. I think that this is going to go really well. So I'm going to insert some photos just around me of the inspo for these shorts today. I'm basically going to be writing across the crotch of the shorts, Manka, which <laughs> sounds so funny to say. I've never really said like or explained what Munka means on my channel. It's my Instagram handle. My Instagram handle is 90Munka. Self-plug, didn't even fucking plan this shit out. Munka is my nickname. I've had it since I was literally a baby. Anyways, I wanted to use the word Munka for this DIY because people that don't know me won't really know what the word means. So I think it's very cool. <laughs> very cool because no one knows what the fuck it means. Right now I'm basically going to choose a font and I'm playing around with using a sans serif font. Um, one like, kind of like that, but I hate this. Or more of a decorative one, like this kind of gothic font. I don't mind this one. I'll save that one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it onto... Photoshop just because I want to see how it looks when I curve the word. I'm going to grab the circle and I'm just trying to see. So the angle I'm going to want is somewhat like... And then I'm going to take my type on shape tool. Okay, paste bitch. Okay, for some reason my font is not showing up so I'm using this one for right now just to kind of test this but I basically put a guide right in the middle just so I can line this up since I do have to rotate it. Obviously the letter size is too big to have it horizontally so I've flipped it vertically and I'm basically lining it up just to see how it looks. I'm honestly going to flip this over. I'm going to print this page out and then I'm going to print this out and I can compare the sizes and the fonts. I think I've decided on the font I want to do. So as I said, I'm going to be doing it in a like semicircle. I printed out one in the semicircle exact that I would do literally this on my shorts in white. Oh my god, yeah, this is it. I already know this is it. I was also debating on doing a sans serif font, super basic, very easy to paint. You know, can't really fuck this up. Instead, we're going, we're going big with this gothic letter font. I'm gonna cut out each letter and I'm gonna tape it with some masking tape, just like roll it into a little one of those like tape thingies and then stick it on. And then use a white crayon. If you do have fabric chalk, go off. I literally never use this entire pack, but a white crayon to trace around the letters. Obviously you are gonna need fabric paint. I am very lucky because my mom's an artist and we have every single art supply you would ever want in your fucking house imaginable right downstairs. Went down to the shop. I think there was like 20 or 25 fabric paints. So I chose a bunch of colors and then you obviously, oh my god, I'm just like realizing how extra this is. A paintbrush! Like, let me bring fucking 50 paintbrushes out. I have a really fine paintbrush here because this specific font is like very decorative, so I need a thinner one. And then I have a thicker one. I've never used fabric paint in my life, okay? Like, I am just winging this right now. So, yeah, I just have a variety in case. I want to try out some different brushes. You're also going to need some paper towel. My mom did tell me that you really do have to dilute the fabric paint. So I grabbed a little mason jar. It has another fabric paint in it. Um, I'm going to fill this up with water. Okay, so as I mentioned, the first thing I'm going to do is cut out these letters. Kind of thought of this genius idea to keep the shape of the letters like without cutting it too crazily so that way I can put it on here and fit the letters in so I know the angle they should be on like ah. I did mark it 
like kind of with a white crayon where I wanted the height of the letters to be so the M fits in here but I do need to make sure the N okay I'm gonna actually do these up because I don't want the end to be on an angle, I want it to be completely straight and since, since it's in the middle. I'm just going to line up the side seams as well. And I'm just going to cut out the centers of each of the letters and hope I don't cut the actual letter. Okay, so as I said, I'm putting the end right in the middle. I'm going to tape it and place all the other letters around it. I'm gonna put it on the back of just one. Masking tape is better to use for fabric than scotch tape, just FYI. So now that I've put the end where I want it, I'm gonna use this as a guide. taped all the letters down I'm gonna remove this and just see if it's all the way I want I'm gonna move the M just a little bit this is the way I want the letters to be I've definitely got that down now I'm gonna use my white crayon and I'm gonna trace the letters. Oh my god, this looks so sick. I might just leave the outline and not fill it in. This is fucking dope. Oh my god, okay. I feel like I'm gonna start doing this to every single pair of pants I own. They're all gonna be monogrammed. Okay, I'm literally going crazy right now. I just popped the shorts on so I can show you guys. This is the white crayon. I think this looks bomb on its own. It's making me question if I want to fill in the letters. I'm super happy with the placement. The little trick of keeping this for the angle helped so much. I really recommend doing this. Okay, so these are the shorts right now, like I showed you. I am going to start painting, so I have my white fabric paint. So, not really sure how I'm going to go about this. I have my mason jar of water right here. So I'm gonna put some of the paint into my little yellow bowl and then dilute it with some water. ASMR, oh my God, that's gonna be my next video. Honestly, if I had the correct microphone, I would have an ASMR channel. I love ASMR so much. Again, I have no fucking clue how much I'm supposed to use. I think this is fine just to start. A little tip is to have your water and your paint on the side if you're right-handed or on the left side if you're left-handed. You don't want to be getting paint over your work because if you drip it, it's gonna fuck it all up. So keep all your supplies and your water on whichever your dominant hand is. I'm gonna have to do multiple layers, which is what my mom said. Anyways, especially because it's a white, once I do another layer on top of the paint, it'll be easier to make it even. It's just that it's sinking into the fabric. So I just finished the first layer of paint. This is what the shorts are looking like. I am pretty obsessed. It was easy to make the decision to fill them in because it was very challenging to keep a straight line. Like 
the first line I made, I was like, okay, filling them in. And now I'm going to do another layer. I'm not really gonna record it because it's the exact same thing. It took me like 40 minutes. Literally, I'm using the smallest brush, but I don't really wanna use a bigger one because then I'm gonna risk messing this up. Gonna do another layer and I will show you guys after. Hopefully I only need two layers, but we'll see. Amazing, like these are so fucking dope. I am gonna do a third coat. Okay, I gave myself some fuel, some avocado toast, and I'm gonna finish these now because I don't wanna have to finish them tomorrow if I can just get her done today. This is the second layer. I'm about to do the third. I did leave my paintbrushes with paint on them. Not a good idea. Okay, so it's the next day. I am wearing the same shirt, but as I showed you guys yesterday, these are what the shorts look like. I wanted to leave them overnight just to dry before setting them with my iron. So I have my iron here and a couple towels that I'm gonna be ironing on top of. I'm actually gonna flip these inside out and I'm gonna iron on the back of the paint. Obviously, paint is on this side and I'm gonna be ironing on this side. I'm gonna lay one towel down that I'm gonna be ironing on top of to protect my desk and then this towel i'm gonna put this in between the shorts as i said i don't want the paint to stick through to the other side of the denim the m is like right here so i'm just gonna quickly iron i'm not gonna go too crazy like i honestly think the paint is already set this is just to ensure Okay, the A is right here, I just checked through. Since the N is over the zipper, I'm gonna actually unzip it. Just like lift the zipper here and then do over the denim right here. Just don't wanna melt the zipper, so I'm gonna hold it. And then I'm gonna do the other side. This is the final pair of shorts. I am going to try them on for you guys. I actually have not tried these on yet, so I'm gonna try them on right now. Mm -hmm. 